Hello. Up, Hello, everybody. How's it going? Let's start up some, a little bit here in the back. Oh my god. Heckin' Poggers. Subscribe again. Tier 3 for nine months in a row. Let's go. That's pretty sick. I think it just Thank said Heckin' Poggers three times as well. That is actually fantastic. So if you haven't, subscribe. You can get your message read out three times. Worth your buck. Um, but Urban, hello there. Welcome to join. Uh, oh, oh, gate tool. I'm just gonna let it read us for itself. Heckin' better poggers. Heckin better poggers. Better heckin' poggers. Fix audio. What is wrong with audio? I I think that's just how it's gonna be. You get it read three times. You get all the. It, it's worth your buck threefold. It's worth it. Slight echo. Hmm. Let me see. Oh, it read the. It read the. I just saw it. It read the message a couple times but that's okay that's okay right there's a that's slight right. echo on my bet is it's coming from urban but i don't want to mute him because i don't ha ah, how do i fix this hmm because it's coming out of we oh start, does anybody know how to fix it no i think i think it's fixed nope okay if i talk too loud okay this is, i don't know what's happening um if I do it, is that? It's not. Is it that? I don't understand what's wrong with that. But if I oh, do the this, way to find out if it's fixed is if okay, someone wait. donates again. Yeah, I don't. It, I think they're talking about my microphone. I think it's my microphone is echoing just a tiny, the tiniest bit, and it doesn't you do it every time. Have to deal with the Greek. But I don't think that's. I don't Greek. think that's a big deal right now because it doesn't even happen every time. So I think we are absolutely a okay. And we don't have too much time, so let's hop right into some stats here. Um, let me pull this up here. We, that is stream. Perfect. Okay, now we have the Rhino and Urban, you are not on the screen. Get in here. Um, I don't know if you are able to see it at all, but um, Rhinos going four and seven during the regular season not too shabby not too shabby um hi everyone say hi to big urban big now, urban. He, now he's shrunk so sad oh how the mighty fall um but the rhinos going seven and four not too bad did i say four and seven i'm thinking about the other team obsidian steeds um so we've got two teams tonight we got the rhinos and we got obsidian steeds and they have a reverse um scores so the rhinos went seven and four not too shabby k tool not k tool <laughs> trey cool cat meow being a very good uh a solid rock for this rhino having lots of shots lots of goals um decent amount of saves and overall being just a menace and a monkey his shooting percentage has been high throughout the entire season and so hopefully he can continue that tonight urban do you have anything to add to this team um yeah, I mean, they're, pretty, they're really solid. Um, Trey's just been, when he's on his game, he's really good. And I know he has that playoff peak potential in the in the past. Um, looking just at the last three season with a uh, shout out to Cat Hunting Spoon, but they were the last seed and they <laughs> took down the one seed. So, I mean, I think uh, the Rhinos, especially Trey and Dunk, they have really good playoff peaks. So we'll see how they play it again tonight. And they've been pretty solid so far. So I think they'll give us a good game tonight absolutely but we do also have one other team tonight and that would be the obsidian steeds featuring rainy and togs um going four and seven so the reverse of the rhino um personally my prediction is in favor of the rhino but i think obsidian steeds definitely have the possibility to take them to at least game four if not game five and so hopefully we'll get some good games out of this tonight but uh anything of note from the stats here um, you know, with the Steeds, they may not have the best record, um, but they do have their winning potential, just like everybody in Divide. Um, see, I'm just uh, that's actually a very good point. Yeah, the shooting percentage is a little low for Rainy and Toads. I mean, uh, the 38 and 30, I feel like, I'm not sure what the average good shooting percentage would be. I feel like maybe 40% is 
so you get some yeah nice if like. you have like 50 you feel like you're on you can definitely feel like the the difference between a 33 percent game and a 50 percent although it also does depend how many saves the other team is getting because if they're getting seven nine saves and you're putting on 12 13 shots it can feel really poorly when you only get those three out of the 12 but exactly exactly um but yeah i just think if uh franny can peak just as much as um, I've seen him play as my old teammate. I know he can pop off, and I've been playing with Telgs. Me and Telgs play twos, and I know he's pretty solid. So, I think it'll really rely on how well Telgs plays tonight. Um, he has struggled a little bit, but I still think he's also done really well at, at times too. Um, so, I think if Telgs plays really well and Randy doesn't get tilted, um, I think the Steeds might have a chance to take down the Rhino. But yeah, I think if I had to make a quick prediction, um, I'm gonna go Rhinos. Um, 3-1. Three, 3-1 one. Three, one Rhinos would be my quick prediction. Okay. Um, and while I think they definitely have a shot here, I think the Rhinos are going to take this in a pretty quick, clean sweep. I think it's going to be pretty quick, pretty painless. Um, my guess is for a 3-0. I would like to see a 3-1 or a 3-2 come out, because just to see the Obsidian Steeds have that potential. I mean, it is Div A, so if the Rhino... I know Trey was off in Paris and uh, Europe for a whole week, so... It definitely it this is this is day two coming back so with how div a is there's a possibility for anyone to take it and uh i'm just excited to see where this leads us yeah it should be good yeah we've got um, most of the people in here i think i need to join the party still yes not i have we've got togs got you I think we would be good to go if everyone is ready. We'll see. Ranny and Tugs looking to be in a warm-up match beforehand. I, I like the idea of just leaving right before the game just to make sure that you're still, like, warmed up. Because even just, like, that five, two-minute break can mean the world when it's just how competitive the season is because sometimes that two minute five minute break is all it takes to just kind of get you cold and that's well, just I, it for I, the game yeah it makes sense i've kind of noticed that too i'm just like me personally it's weird like sometimes i i only want to play 20 minutes because if i play too long then i i mean even though they say you should warm up for like an hour and stuff sometimes I feel like just getting the feel for it depends, but I have noticed uh, coming right off of a game versus like even training, um, I seem to do better. So I think that's definitely helpful when they're coming right off, like you said, off a game and they're ready to go. Absolutely. Um, Tug's also saying he's not having quite the best day today. So unfortunate. Hopefully it doesn't affect his uh, plans to, or hopefully it doesn't affect his gameplay too much. I hope he doesn't... Uh, get down on himself even before the game has started but uh looking at the predictions here we've got two 12.8k going in the favor of the rhinos obsidian steeds with only 33 percent of the bison bucks going for them we've got seven people looking for uh the rhinos to win and it, actually it's not showing me the other half so let's see can i see it if i can pull it up real quick my guess is it might just be two or three but yeah, there's three voters on the steeds. Um, Kajul tried to make the Bison Bucks even, but he hasn't put in enough to make it even yet. However, only three voters on Obsidian Steeds, so could be still could be anyone's game in theory, but it looks like the Twitch chat is, is feeling the rhinos today. Absolutely, and I mean, I'm also feeling it, so I definitely think that they're going to come out swinging, and hopefully, like, it's, it's one of those weird things where if you're cold, you could have one of the best games of your life, but it's just one of those where you subconsciously just turn your brain off and things just keep working, but if things don't start working, you are not in that rhythm of getting that clash, so you just don't know what to do and you kind of break down, so hopefully... Uh, Trey is able to kind of monkey his way to victory, and I, I think we're going to be able to witness that. But hopefully, we can witness that as Ranny and Togs are still finishing out their game here. Quick, <laughs> looks yeah. like they are not winning too well either. But it's whatever. We we can keep stalling here. What was it? I was going to say something? Oh, I feel like the first round of the playoffs is the biggest chance for upsets to happen because, especially coming after spring break. 
Um, a lot of people might have not have played, or at least took a break. Oh, not, yeah. Whether that's good or bad. So Everybody like, is uh, taking a break, and it's like... I feel like Upset Central will be this first round more so than, like, later in the rounds. Because I feel like second, third round, semifinals, quarterfinals, they'll be a little more um, warmed up and people are back into the mojo. So I wouldn't be surprised to see some upsets, which I always like the underdog. I'll try not to be biased today, but... That's just, uh, I would say we, sh we should look out for upsets uh, the first round. Oh, absolutely. I mean, there's some upsets to be had as well. Um, let me see if I can pull up the positionings of where people are playing. I do think that people are ready, though, because we've got Straight Ribbon versus Pulse Ultra, Rhino versus Bidding Seeds, Car Swappers versus OK Boomer, which OK Boomer, we've got some stuff going on in the background. Um, we can talk about that later. But we can talk about that in-game as we get into it here let's get on with it then as we go into this first game i'm super excited i'm hyped i just want i just want a good game if i'm being honest i'm not looking for something pretty i'm not looking for something flashy i just want some good old rocky league that we have missed so dearly here so yes sir all right all right i'm going to swap to this here first and we are good to go. Let's get it. All right, Toves dominates the kickoff against Dunk. Really fast start for them so far. Toves should have a free shot. Trey with a great save on the goal line, though. So far, already really fast gameplay from these guys right out of the gate. And I love that little play from Dunk. Like, you could kind of see that his car wanted to just bang it right away. But he just took that slow extra little touch. And it was just a great idea here. Toves making a good pass into Ranny. And Toves looking to follow up that clear as well now slow play coming out from dunk and trey but trey doing a little bit of a monkey that's gonna be an open net can ranny get it and he gets the demo on him oh what a demo that's just an open net that was a good play well played ranny what a demo definitely a good start kind of, yeah he gets kind of like a weird pre-flip pre-flip touch and is able to destroy cool cat in the process and they're already starting with the quick chats i love to see it this should be <laughs> a good one yeah and i mean we've got so much time left one goal means nothing here so excited to see how the rhinos decide to come back demo coming out from trey and now we've got dunk into the corner yeah ranny taking it up into the corner he's togs flying in from downtown gets uh unfortunate ghost ish touch togs gets another demo demo heavy play style and Obsidian Steeds are up 2-0. I did not expect this to happen. These guys are taking it to them. Togs with the big brain demo this time. Yeah, big demo Randy plays coming that. out for both plays here. It It is Div A. Anything can happen. And we are possibly seeing an upset for even game one. I don't I don't want to say it, but we we could be seeing an upset here. There is a chance. There's always a chance. Um but game one is always another route. Like, I feel like uh, Randy's play style can work, but knowing Trey and Dunk, they should be able to adapt. So maybe the uh, Randy and Togs will get away with this first game. But uh, I'd like to see what happens later. But there's still plenty of time left, so I don't want to jump the gun. But I think oh, yeah. it's also game one jitters too. So we'll see oh, yeah. I mean, this is just all we need to get back into the swing of things, and we have just kind of lost the the feng shui of how everything works so just figuring everything out absolutely and coming back from spring break to dunk looking for the infield past finds cool cat he's gonna put a shot on net but it's not very close and doesn't have a lot of power so togs now with the shot of his own cool cat is not back to save that it's a wide open net what's going on with it what are they doing togs with an absolute clanger of a shot this says i'll take free free goals all day Oh, Absolutely, man. and I would like to point out, S Silk, thank you again for fo for subscribing for a Tier 3 for eight months in a row. Appreciate the support. Robbie coming in, gre getting the follow. Appreciate that much. And Dunk, almost looking for the shot on net. Not quick going to find it. Um, Robbie, we are a NDSU uh, student in-house league, so if you would like to play, just come over to the NDSU. We're a good campus, got some good things. Um, a lot of the people here are computer science majors, so if you're interested in that, uh, it's a good program. Would recommend. Uh, 
but that is that is how you can come in here but sadly we do not take many people from outside a lot i would like to point out you could be from a tri-college so ndsu does have a tri-college agreement with msum and concordia so if you don't necessarily want to come to ndsu but would like to still play rocket league here msum concordia hit us up but this is for college students and an in-house league uh, quick side note, Greek. Uh, I think game sound is not working. I saw someone say that in the chat. I don't know if we can fix that. Might just that, be but... low. Yes, but uh, besides besides that, uh, another demo play coming out. And it's just another open net. These demos are leading to so many open nets for these guys that the demos just make it easy peasy lemon squeezy for Ranny and Tobes. Tobes just being a great teammate, making it so Ranny. He'd have to pull off urban living moments if he had to miss those shots. So, but he doesn't pull off urban living moments, and he easily scores. Now they're taking this game by storm, four to zero. Oh man, Randy taking it up the corner. He's looking to do something fancy now. Toe's gonna Toe's creep. up. Oh my god, that would have been crazy. That would have been nutty. This is game one. Oh. I had it set for Obsidian Steeds winning too, so maybe that's just my hard-coded stream just knowing what's gonna happen here but almost finding another one obsidian seeds up 4-0 we've got so much not even so much time left we've got time enough for goals to be scored but i don't think it's enough for four to be scored in this short of time you know the way this game's going i would have to disagree Especially um, when but they, find another. they might get one here so maybe i have to hold my tongue okay Whew. Phew from Cool Cat, good control in the air, and takes his open at it there as well. What do you think the Rhino needs to do? Um, to get hold of this game, or maybe just, just what do you think they need to do to change? From from the looks of it, from most of the goals, not get demoed. Um, the other thing is they had that one open net where Trey just was not back, and Togs was able to put it on net. So, just a little bit with the rotations. I know it seems they're trying to go for some of the slower play but they just don't seem to be getting 50s working in their favor so if they could get for some sort of play to work in their favor that would be super helpful but now tug's looking for something not going to be able to get there fast enough not grabbing that corner boost trey's only got 23 but goes for the musty doesn't quite find the like scoop on it though so you know i respect trey going for the mustard respect he's, it he's losing by three with 40 seconds left you might as well get a clip while you're on stream love to see it Right now, they're just trying to make something out of nothing, but Randy gets a nice, easy save on the goal line, but Trey's right there, maybe quick pass. No, doesn't get the touch he wants. Fakes for days. Togs decides to take over. I didn't like that touch or that attempt from Dunk when he tried to go up for the net. It's a, just a hard angle. They're trying to get that pinch into the midfield, and it's just not working in their favor. Nine seconds left, and this is going to go to Obsidian Steeds game one. You know, Randy... I like both Randy and Trey. They're like my two favorite, two favorite people. No offense to anybody else. I've just played with them a lot, but normally I bet on Randy just because I play with him so much, and I, I honestly bet it on the Rhinos. So now my Bison Bucks are sweating. So come on, Trey, get your crap together. <laughs> but good job, Obsidian Steeds, for blowing everybody away in this game one. Yeah, absolutely. And it looks like they're ready to just hop, like just run it back. Let's go straight into the next one. I'm not even gonna turn the cams off. Um, Although I would like to point out, Cool Cat, in the jersey attire, I know I didn't really point it out when I had it on, but uh, definitely order it. It's really good. And the cool thing is you can get it customized too, but also rent it. Smile. I still need the order, man. I keep putting that off. I'm a do little it! Well, I'll have to remember to do that after the stream. Say, we oh, are putting we a go. limit on it. We're only keeping it open for the next, like, one or two weeks, end of the month, and then we're putting in the order because we don't do it. Um, it's not created by order. So if you want to get your jersey, you do need to put it in by, uh, we're already in March, April 1st. <laughs> um just so that way because we do it as a mass order so we get the big discount otherwise it's usually like 70 bucks um so definitely get that order in get that custom jersey otherwise we are going to have rentals probably for just ten dollars we're not going to put down any deposits so just get your jersey any way you can for sure and that's in one week since today is the 22nd close pretty much one week so yeah don't be lazy like me folks and go get your jerseys support the support the cool cause hey who doesn't want a tire but trey 
says, you know, I'm gonna show off my attire and get a nice aerial shot. And yeah. Oh. I like to see it. Maybe, maybe if you could like flash the jersey a little bit, that'd be pretty cool. But I don't think he's listening to the stream. So definitely a nice shot, just kind of an open net, and uh, love to see that the rhinos are able to fire back. Yeah, I mean there was like, I think there was two goals by the fourth by after one minute due to demos already. So much little different this game too, and. We'll just have to see how it goes. Dunk taking it up the field. Tries to clear it. Togs doesn't get the best touch he wants, but he cuts in, trying to make something. Randy and Trey, Trey get a kind of neutral 50, but Trey wins it eventually. Another pinch. Double commit, but Randy's going to be able to take the boost and hopefully take control. But Dunk's just flying in, trying to not let that happen. Togs pounds away. Now Trey pounds it right back. Will someone keep possession so far? It's kind of been a lot of boomer ball lately. Not a lot of dribbling or a lot of possessive plays. Yeah, and we just see this blue team whittling down in boost just lower and lower, and Cool Cat's just going to keep putting it back into the corner, and they've started to get a little bit of pressure alleviated, but that miss from Togs mean Randy has to shadow this defense. Dunk with a weird flick, not going to make it into the net, but good defense coming out from Randy as uh, they definitely had the pressure on. Yeah, for sure. Blue team's going to have to try and get possess the play or rely on a kind of a double commit there from Dunk and Trey that hopefully get a quick goal, but Trey's back in time. But Trey misses. <gasps> but Luckily, Togues just isn't. Dunk. Say, Togues just not expecting the miss coming out from Trey, which, like, y you hate to see just an un like a goal just go unscored, but it's so difficult to know when someone's going to miss in this Div A. Now, Trey is up, and it's into Togues. That could have been a nice pass coming from Dunk. Uh, Trey hitting him with the what a save as well. This is an open net for Ranny, and Trey just cannot get back in time. A goal to tie it up for Obsidian Steeds. That's got to be so tough for Trey and Dunks. That was such a good play, and then they just instantly get counterattacked and scored on. So, like, I'd be a little frustrated if I was the Rhino. But, I mean, good for Obsidian Steeds to shut that down and quickly turn it around, tying the game up here. Absolutely. And now we've only got... We've got half the game left. So, hopefully we can still see... Some good stuff coming out of here. Gets that pad uh, on the spawn. Randy with a weird touch means that it's going to go into the net as well. Just no clear coming out. And I would like to notice that pad spawned on Trey. And so it gave him enough boost to get a little bit more powerful of a flick. And that just means Randy was in a weirder spot. So, Yeah, Togs unfortunately didn't get like a 50 or anything. So Trey kind of got a free shot. And then Randy didn't get the best clear. So it was just a unfortunate defense by the Steeds. And... Wave, good good thing for Mr. Monkey Trey to keep up keep on the ball and score. He gets one cut. He's gonna fake out Randy, maybe Randy with a good shadow defense. Yeah, sometimes you just kinda have to go for that 50. A little bit of an awkward play there from the Rhinos. Not quite knowing who's gonna go for the ball here, but Togues has got it up the wall, but Trey's gonna cut it off here quickly. Dunk looking to stop any aerial attempt here, but Randy just waiting it out, and that is on net and Obsidian Steeds tying it up. We've got a game. We do. Dunk just kind of pops it. Doesn't get the best clear, and Randy's able to beat out Trey. A good beat, in fact. And gets a nice shot with the dunk mask, the title, showing that he can get those dunks, so to speak. <laughs> you and have that too, don't you? Up. Yeah, me and Randy have been playing together, so. It's, it's such a funny. funny. But, I, I'm uh, so happy you have it for the uh, for this the end of the season here. As Togs, Obsidian Steeds. Taking another goal, putting themselves in the lead. The Rhinos are like double committing. Like, yeah. Like, it seems like they're double committing a lot and they're just getting punished for it. And Randy's and Togs have been having solid rotations. And like, they haven't had that many like amazing shots. Like, they've, I feel like out of the, let's say they scored four goals last game. So, out of the seven goals that's been scored, I think two of them have been like not open net goals. So, like, I feel like the Rhinos just need to get their rotations figured out. Or at least just not double commit as much, or else uh, this might be tough for the Rhinos going into the next game here if they don't figure something out. Oh yeah, this definitely feels like one of those where just the rust is caked on right now. Ranny getting oh, a nice goodness. pass from Togs. Oh my lord. What they said path. they weren't doing well. They said they weren't feeling well. They were hustling. They were lying. They had to have been lying because what a pass by Togues and what a snipe by Randall. That is a beautiful pass. Dunk going for the, the pre-jump 50 and just not being able to find it. But Dunk, no, not being able to find the capitalization. Cool Cat with the shot, but it's not on net. No, oh Dunk also goodness. misses. 
Oh, that would have been the perfect time to capitalize and, like, get it closer with only a minute left now. Rainy going for the flip reset. Ah, you hate to see it. But I would like to say, this, we, if I have to say one thing, it's that I think just the rhinos are rusty. It, Trey was gone, had not touched the game for an entire week, and I think it's just biting him in the butt here. So, yeah. I mean, it's hard. It's hard to say. I, I feel like I would have to agree. Um, maybe Trey and Junk just haven't played that much. This is an opportunity. Before. Yes, they are. Mate, hold. I don't want to cast or curse it. I won't say anything from now on. There's 30 you know? seconds left. They, they've got time. There's a chance. It'll happen. I believe. I absolutely. This is not exactly what I expected. I think the. I thought the Rhinos were going to come out here and just absolutely dominate and. Twitch chat apparently thought so as well, but all of us are wrong right now as Obsidian Steeds proving why they are in Div A. This might be a goal, but I think it back in time. Just no power, but that's oh. in the midfield, but Dunk isn't there. No. no. That was so close. I thought Final 10 seconds. To, Trey got two fakes, and I thought he was going to be able to get a nice shot. This might be an opportunity. Oh. Here or not. Oh, is there to shut it down. Off the wall. It's still up. Dunk, Dunk getting the touch. Onto the wall, Trey. Oh, oh Trey Obsidian see. Steeds take game two. Will the reverse sweep happen? I okay, okay, here. Uh, okay, what do you think? If I'm being honest, I don't think it happens. I, I don't think we get the reverse sweep just because of like the mental of where it's at right now i mean because if you look at the scoreboard trey's gotten six shots or seven shots and so he he's he's peppering the net but just not finding everything that he wants to and so i think right now he definitely took the time to sit back have that little meditation session say okay it's time to really get into the zone here and uh i hope we can see the rhinos come out with something even stronger than what we saw from the last game because the last game was better for game one really not that good game two was a little bit better but this game three this is where we need it and i gotta say Pogues is playing out of his mind these two games he's been playing really really well um he's been saucing up randy he's been getting demos for randy like I, I thought Togues, if he played really well, this might be really good. And then Ranny is also playing really, really great on top of it. So, I, even though I'm hyping them up, and Trey and Dunk get a great goal here, um, I just think uh, Ranny and Togues have been playing really great as a team, and that's why they've been doing so so far so good. But Cool Cat and Dunk want to tell me otherwise, and they want to show why they are going to try and play good as a team and get a quick early goal. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it could also be Trey's just looking to mess with the uh, with the predictions a little bit. People did. Oh my gosh! Oh my, oh my goodness, Ranny! What just happened? Ranny, are you sure you're a Genshin man? man Seems pretty peaking. clean to me. Ranny's peeking tonight, folks. Dunk Master Central. What a double tap from Ranny. Huh. That kills the momentum too. Trey and Dunk were like, we just got a goal, and then Randy does that to you. Like, that's gotta be tough. Dunk trying to make something. Cool cat. Togs. Do I thing? need? To, am I ever gonna have to turn these cameras off? I thought I there was a goal exactly. Oh my gosh, this has been a high-scoring first 30 seconds. Um, Dunk. We've got a pass, but Trey pre-jumping it. I don't like that. That leaves the net open, and sadly, they just had no booster control of it at the time. But it, it just means you have to rush back, and that's just not a great positioning thing there. But I would like to point out, I accidentally had it set for Obsidian Seeds getting the first two games, and uh, we're just right back there. So I guess I never needed to reset the game counter as uh, Obsidian Steeds coming out, getting these first two games and uh, stick into the script, I guess. Yeah, uh, K-Tool, you know, he, he texted me, as we all know, he scripted the entire league, and he told me uh, uh, this is how he scripted this game to start off, so I just wanted to make sure we're following the protocols given by Mr. Tool, so, so far, so good. Oh uh, my gosh. Wanna... Yeah. A very yeah. impressive air dribble coming out from Randy. Not towards yeah. the goal at all, but still very impressive control, getting that positioning. Sadly, just nothing coming of it. And uh, hey, Mr. Air Dribble himself loves to do what he does best, and 
Someone's just trying to prove it tonight for us. I'm sure that's really helpful in hoops, actually. Um, it definitely helps, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, besides oh. that, that doesn't really matter at this point. It's Toes with the fake. Granny with the fake. Toes got a, no, no boost. Gets his okay 50, but Trey's going to take this. Keep possession. Double tap for Trey, but Randy's got good backboard defense. Keeping possession here. And he keeps control, Tunk. Kind of shadowing Trey. Russ hustling back. Gets an annoying touch in the midfield. Toes gets the challenge, but doesn't... It's an unfavorable 50. Taking it in the corner. Trey looking for a quick shot. And that's a quick shot. Trey slots it. That's all you need. Sometimes you just need to have it a little awkward. And uh, it's one of those situations where Ranny, it looked like he was trying to turn around to get to that first. Maybe he thought it was taking a little bit longer of an angle to get in. But uh, ex excellent job there from Trey. Looking for the fake. It's over to Trey. Ranny cutting it off. I like the idea. Up by one. I like it. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're changing up their play style a little bit. I mean, if they're adding fakes, because, you know, before they were super demo heavy, good save by Togues there. And if they're adding some fakes and kind of slowing down the game all of a sudden when they've been playing really fast the past two games, it definitely can be a little mind gamey in this game three here. And yeah, now I oh. see Togues. Just awkward in the corner here, looking to slow it down, which you've got two minutes left, but you are also down by one. So you're looking to kind of make use of that time and dunk, getting it over Randy as well. This is an opportunity for K Trey. Ah, cool cat. Cool cat, K Tool, Trey. Aren't they one and the same? Ah, uh, really. good, good attempt by Togues there. Oh, awkward Randy? communication. Randy put out in the oh, midfield three. and Togues. <laughs> And it's free. It's in. This is Rocket League. Oh, man. Great pass by Ranny Togues. Just easy shot in. No yeah. problem. Definitely a good pass. I don't necessarily like the play from Rhinos. Um, definitely, you, you, saw, you saw the exact moment that um, Dunk left the ball thinking Trey was going to get it, and then he did not. And that is just where it all fell apart. So uh, definitely need to see that communication come out from the Rhinos here. Um, and just these interesting bump plays. Like, you see Togues coming in, gets the bump on Trey, and just makes him awkward. It's still bullying him. And, uh, if anything, just being more annoying and hoping that he'll make those mistakes in the future than trying to force the mistakes right now. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, if with how Togues is playing right now, um, Randy can rely on him a bit more. And... That allows Randy to be full monkey and be annoying and get bumps and stuff. So I think their play style is really working out well just because they're both playing great. And, but that's an unfortunate. Oh, Randy. I mean, that's an unfortunate miss by Togues. It kind of probably faked out Randy and he just didn't get the touch and Dunk's there to put her in. Yeah. A whopping nine American freedom units. <laughs> yeah, nine miles per hour. Love to see that. The Rhinos looking to take at least a game off of Obsidian Steeds here. Obsidian Steeds are looking really good. Obviously, just two misses means the goal is going to go in. That's just how it works. But uh, here, Toes looking for something. Gets the corner boost. Yes, I love to see that. Trey now has very few and just has to kind of put it into the corner. But Rennie with the counter clear as well. Dunk isn't respecting that type of power. And we've just been seeing Obsidian Steeds making the right choices. And so far, Bump? oh my gosh, as soon as I say Obsidian sees making the right choices, the Rhinos go for a deadly play here. Dunk getting the bump on Ranny. Dunk was not leaving Ranny alone. He was falling the whole time. So that was a good play by them. And now they have a comfortable, question mark, comfortable to go lead. I'm liking what I'm seeing from the Rhinos. They seem to have a handle on what's going on this game with a little bit of help, with a little bit of the mistakes from Obsidian Steeds, but... Oh, oh good eight. fake and he gets it past him but there's no dunk there waiting for it so unfortunate but you do need to have that level of trust sometimes dunk? although then i also say the over committing has been bad so it's very difficult to know but ranny up here looking to find another goal maybe just a clip with the last seven seconds trey now has a lot of space to work with puts it into the corner it's out mid and Dunk just leaves it to hit on the floor. Well, the Rhinos pick up game three. And as I always say, game three is the most important. Because now they get to play a game four. And then game four is the second most important. Because if they win that, then they go to game five. 
and then they win it all. Yeah. So, so I mean, that's a, that's yeah. a good idea, but at the same time, like, <laughs> although, yeah, because if you get the first two, game three is important because you want to just close it out. Because after you lose the first one, then you're way more likely to start getting that uh, reverse sweep mindset where you're just down on yourself and not having a good time anymore, and it just it all starts to waterfall but yeah game three can be pretty important so maybe we see the rhino make this reverse sweep maybe we don't but the rhino are here to tell us it's gonna happen and you know with me and Randy's history uh we got reverse swept a ton and i know <laughs> Randy might be having that haunting him in the back of his mind so i hope he keeps his composure good shot by Tokes. nice patience and then gets a nice cheeky little touch in but uh, I know that can might affect Ranny mentally sometimes, so I hope he, he stays positive and is like it's only one game, and so far that, they can stay positive with one goal. That, that's just so cheeky. I don't feel like that should have went in. It, it was just so it was so close to hitting Dunk's car that it just, oh, I, I, I would hate that as Dunk, but as Togues, I'm like, you just got outplayed, so... Definitely good to see from Obsidian Steeds, though. Yeah, for sure. As Ranny here has a chance. Doesn't get the shot he was looking for. Trey gonna try and take control. Togues respecting Trey. Togues giving a lot of room to Trey, but he gave enough time for Ranny to get back. And Ranny's up there before Dunk. He's still spinning around as he always does. Dunk faking for Trey. Trey keeping concession on the wall. Gets a quick pass. Well, quick shot. Togues there with the clear dunk. They're keeping up the pressure. Rhinos are trying to really pressure him hard. A good and sky from, coming out from Togues here. It's awkward in the corner. Looks for just some aggressive play, but not going to find it. Yeah. It is. Togues went out looking for that bump on Dunk and didn't find it. So Dunk was able to get that 50. And then Togues just was not ready for that shot at all. Um, good play from the Rhinos, definitely, as uh, Dunk avoiding that bump. But uh, it's tied up now. Yeah, uh, they're definitely making this an interesting series, to say the least. Totes! Oh, Randy's there to help bail him out. Gets a quick touch. Maybe a fast counterattack. Randy's on zero boost, though. And now it's a 1v1 with Togues and Trey. But Randy's there to help Togues out and get a clear out. But Trey with a good demo. Togues Beautiful. missed the boost. It's and Dunk so just open. Getting... What a I play. I love that. What a play. Yeah. yeah, Randy gets demoed, and then Togues was hoping to grab that boost himself and didn't get it. And then Dunk just says, I'll take that. It... It hurts as the Obsidian Steeds because it's one of those plays where you kind of need to make that touch. Rennie needs to help out Togues in that situation just because Trey was in the position to get a flick. And so you needed to make that touch. But just the fact that you got demoed for it and it was a perfect pass mid, is it just hurts so much. So. Yeah, and unfortunately, Togues was low on boost, so he was kind of going for the same boost Randy was hoping to get, and that just put him out of position, and Dunk was just chilling in the midfield and was able to take advantage. So really, really good team plays coming out from the Rhinos. They're getting their chemistry back. They maybe were a little rusty, game one and two, but I'm seeing the rust start to shine here. They're less rusty now is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, and I think that's definitely what this game has become. It's kind of a game of rust. Uh we see a lot of times Dunk getting the touch in front of Togues as well. It's just one of those things where it's capitalizing on people's mistakes. And so the mistake of Togues not getting the touch before the boost or the mistake of getting demoed. One of those things where it's just like having that positional disadvantage uh, and capitalizing on that. Um, it, it, it can make all the difference in this game. And so that's one of the main things with Div A is being able to force mistakes and also being able to uh, capitalize on them. We've been seeing that here a lot tonight. Yeah, Randy on Togues tried to get the pass to Randy. Randy was just a little close to the net and wasn't able to put that one in. But he might try to get past the Togues here. Gets a weird double tap it's pass. Good Togues pass. Hurt. And I like the pressure because they're down by two. It's always a little risky to kind of go for these shots, but because if Dunk got a clear there, it would have been bad. But Togues was able to take advantage. Great pass by Ranny, and now they're staying in this one. Yeah, nah, definitely really, really like that. Ranny just taking that air dribble, putting it into the midfield, and Togues having the trust and the uh, capability to follow up on that. It's absolutely huge. Although we see a little bit of a double commit there. Not what you want to see, but Ranny getting the demo on Trey um, means that offensive pressure is just not there anymore. 
you know, smart, smart uh, to get the demo from Randy to make sure that their double commit didn't hurt them in the in the end there. And Toe is gonna get the clear. No, he cannot. Probably free is for it, Dong. It was so free. Randy getting the miss as well, but he gets oh, the no. double on Trey. Oh my oh, God. I want to see if there's oh, any reactions. I. I'm trying not oh to yell. Oh my Lord. Oh, that was crazy. What just that happened? And the thing is, Togues needed to get that demo, or Randy needed to get that demo. Otherwise, that was absolutely such a free Doomsie? goal. Looking for the Doomsie. Oh, almost it finds open. it. Togues. There it is. Obsidian Steeds are coming back after that crazy series of events. I don't even now, remember how the Rhinos got their three goals, but Obsidian Steeds have been coming out firing. It's a barn burner. This game I four, love it, this. My nails are being bitten. This is making me nervous for both teams. I don't know who's going to win. Obsidian Steeds have the, um, what's the term I'm looking for? Momentum. Momentum. Thank you. Yes, they have the momentum going into this right now. With a minute 30 left. Togues with a nice beat on Trey. Definitely alleviates the pressure. Randy's going to try and maybe get a 50 of some sort. He's taking his time. Unfortunately, that was just a weird touch by Dunk. But to double commit in the corner. The Togues going to get a quick pass out. Mm, maybe? Oh, nah, Randy's respecting it. it. Yeah, I totally I like respect that. that. Although yeah, now he's wanna... got zero boost. Mm. He's just awkward. Gets the bump on Trey. <laughs> being oh. annoying and just just being a rat, as people like this call it. So uh, it definitely... Oh my gosh, a little bit of double commit. Just the communication from both of these teams we're seeing. Yeah, they need to Another talk to each other a little more. Oh, what? Oh, wow. how did that not go in? Like, what's going on, guys? I mean, that was just crazy. Now it's a free, not a free net for Tokes. That's unfortunate. <laughs> I can't even talk. What is Greek. happening? Is I don't, I don't know chaos. what's happening here. This is actually just chaos. But Tokes, a great midfield pass coming out from Rainy, and with 35 seconds left, I feel like it's a good solidification. Um, especially when you've had the momentum up to this point and getting that final goal to possibly secure it, I. I, I like to see this from Obsidian Steeds, but it, it's just, it's not what you expect. Yeah, but I'm just going to say, the Rhinos definitely has a chance to score in the last 30 seconds because they have just been, the, the amount of chaos that's going on is just crazy. But Ranny and Togues are trying to set, put this one out. 20 seconds left. The people, Obsidian Steeds fans, are about to be really happy unless Dunk can pull off something, but he couldn't get nothing out of that. Togues get a touch. Trey's trying to be speedy. Ranny gets the clear. Yeah. Obsidian Steeds has boost here, and so with 10 seconds left, they're not going to let a goal happen. They've got it in their hat, in the orange half, and I think Obsidian Steeds got this in the bag. And we have... Especially when you do that. The first upset. First game of the year, first upset of the playoffs. Obsidian Steeds take down the Rhinos. I don't think many people expected this unless you wanted to bet on them and make a decent amount of Bison Bucks change. Yeah, Togues just oh, going they for gonna nothing. Wait They're just going to let the ball just kind of sit yeah, there. Yeah, there it is. There it is. GG's. GG's. Definitely a very good game from Obsidian Steeds. Honestly, kind of scuffed. Just kind of cal... Uh, they were able to get their goals based off of just some mistakes happening um, on both sides. So, unfortunate. But we've still got Big Urban here. I will hopefully make big urban a little less big here um um let me actually unmute in video ninja first hello can you guys hear me i need to do the same um yeah i'll do that to you and but i do still need to fix your cam so that way we can also see my cam and I also don't understand why your camera is not updating at all. So that's fun. Oh, I see I'm frozen on Twitch or on the stream. That's okay. Yeah. Though. I'm not necessarily sure why. But and Ranny and Toad Tiris. Hello. 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 Any anybody there? Anybody? Anybody there? I think they're muted. Um Yeah. Um can they unmute? Maybe. Hello? Hello, hello, hello. Trying to establish contact. Oh, unmute. Possibly. Yeah. If we could hear you, maybe. 
and I can get your camera to update if I do this, which is perfect. Okay, yeah. Um, hello, 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 hello. Any anybody you, there? Oh. Anybody there? If you oh, would okay. like to. Oh, hello. Hey, there we go. We can hear Toke. How about Randy? Can uh, unmute. Unmute. I'm here. I'm gonna... Hey, All there right. you are. We have contact. Now we're good. Now we're good. All right. So, what uh, a congratulations. <laughs> Is that what you expected Thanks. going into it? Um, uh, um, tokes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't ever count myself out of really anything, so I don't know. I guess I didn't expect anything one way or another, to be honest. Yeah, you guys, it, if I'm being honest, kind of a rough series um not necessarily a clean anything um a lot of empty nets coming out from the rhinos but also a lot of demo plays coming out is that something you guys like focused on and wanted to do or was that just kind of it happened naturally um i don't know i mean uh, <laughs> for me i'm i'm naturally just a more demi heavy heavy focused player anyway so it came naturally for me but I guess in game one it ended up working out really well. So we just yeah, kind of stuck to it. definitely seemed to work well for you guys. Um, it didn't look like you necessarily kept with it, but it looked like you guys found something at least that worked well against them. And so, uh, any any tips for the other people fighting them in losers bracket? Hit ball hard because they yeah, tend to, they tend to <laughs> do a lot of plays that use up. A lot of boost so if you hit ball hard and boost steal and bump them then eventually they, they, they'll crack under the pressure that was That's another thing I noticed with a lot a lot of the bump plays just like one of those things where it's I mean you guys were able to mitigate a goal because Tugs was getting that demo on Trey in the midfield or yeah. um yeah. one of those yeah, no, just Togs, like Tugs really helped relieve the pressure yeah. <laughs> Tugs, really you, you played really well out there tonight I'm actually pretty pretty proud of you so I was gonna say uh I thought Togues played really good. Um, yeah, he and, did. Oh, my God. And with Togues playing really good, Randy, you played pretty good, too. You didn't miss, or I felt like you hardly missed anything. <laughs> Almost missed. <laughs> yeah, well, yes, but, like, I felt like First your guys' accuracy was just was just really good. Um, oh, yeah. And when you are pretty much perfect with your shooting on on net and some really good passing plays, and the demos just made it super easy. So you, unless you had urban moments – uh you guys were fine because you guys hit all those open nets so that was just really impressive so i mean yeah, yeah, yeah. what happened like that game four there was so much random misses. there was there was a lot yeah. there was a lot Demo. happening uh, i could never know who was gonna score i never know who was gonna save the ball so game four was a little crazy but i thought you guys played really well uh the first two games for sure even game three the shivers, was, was the shiver. they blame the shiver yeah. <laughs> but uh yeah Good job, boys. And who do you guys have? Who do you guys play next? I don't have the playoff. Bracket. I I think we need to wait for the next uh, game to be we played. Because yeah. I th I think it would be either Debots or Squishy Muffins. Uh, oh no, they play know, straight Rip or Pulse case. Ultra. Yeah. Ooh. Yep. Uh, oh, predictions for that? <laughs> <laughs> Straight ripping. <laughs> Ran Randy's leaving. He got his one win know, and he's out. Hey, they told us three, three and zero. Oh, we lose this series, so. Yeah, we so I this is not all what I expected. Hey, you guys I'm definitely glad. pulled something out. I I think I think spring break had a little bit to deal with it. This definitely is not pre spring break the rhinos, but uh, nonetheless, congratulations, you guys did an excellent job. I don't think I have anything left. So Urban. Um. Yeah, you guys played really well. Um, proud of you boys because I play with you guys a lot. Try not to be oh, biased, but I'm definitely a fan <laughs> of the Steeds. But uh, um, good luck in your guys' future. Good job. Thank you. Appreciate Absolutely. You. Congratulations, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Now, we do have one more game. Um, now, the question is, do we try and stall for five minutes or do we just take a small intermission? And I think we're going to take a small intermission here. Um, get some stuff set up in the back line and hopefully see you guys in just a few minutes for dub bots versus squishy muffins. So if you guys urban got anything else? Uh, no, I hope you guys enjoyed our casting. Um, hopefully, uh, we, 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 you'll enjoy it and we will be right back. Absolutely.
We will see you guys in just a few minutes. Stay tuned for the bots versus Squishy Muffin.